I know you've all been here at one point or another. I'm going to show you the fundament for an effective, safe and healthy workflow. We call it the Plan, Do, Check, Act method. And today we'll see what it means in practice. I'm going to walk you through every step and I know you might know some of the parts I'm about to show you already, but please bear with me, it'll be fun. When they built this project, a lot of risks and hazards were taken into account. Take say team manager Camilla and her associate Maya here. They're doing an assessment to cover all of these risks and hazards in a method statement. It's their job to foresee and prevent every possible risk from happening. It can be everything from the obvious safety precautions like wearing gloves and eye protection to educate colleagues about the actual risks. We call this initial stage the plan phase. It all comes down to a very human drive, doesn't it? To care for life so we can all come home safe tonight. Safety is always a top priority. And Camilla knows that if the planning is thoroughly done, both her colleagues and the project will benefit a lot. And of course, so will Camilla. The time has come to put up the drywalls. We have now entered the second phase on our journey, the so-called do phase. Camilla is briefing the operators about every possible risk and hazard. She is cross-checking her lists, making sure they have all the right gear, such as appropriate tools and safety equipment. Well, it certainly looks like everything's in order. Let's go to work. A day has passed, and as you can see, our wall is coming together nicely. Even the best can forget to put the glasses on, but it's paramount to do so when at work. The eyes must be protected since they cannot be replaced. There will be no exceptions to this safety matter. And, as we also just saw, the value of a great colleague should not be underestimated. We call this phase the check phase. And it starts off with Camilla gathering the team every morning to go through the method statement. Looking into possible deviations from the original plan that is in need of correction until the next day. She is also making sure that work can be continued totally safe or if there's anything that will impact this aspect. And I'm pretty sure she will remind her colleagues again about the importance to work safely and follow the plan. Our wall is done and it looks great. Good job. Camilla and Maya are back at the table, evaluating just about every step of the working process. Now is the time to act on the insights from the work process. How did it go? What can we learn from this week? And how can we become better until next time? Even if Camilla seems pleased with the result, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of learnings she will bring into the process. There usually are. My time is up, and I'm glad you walked with me all the way to the finishing line. But before I go, I want to remind you that the PDCA model is something we carry with us into every project and every practice. We think it, breathe it and perform it. If we cannot work safe, we simply won't work at all. I'll leave you here and let you carry on with what you might be working on at the moment. But whatever it is, just don't forget the glasses, will you?